No matter what business you're running, I think this piece of advice can definitely help you just become a better business owner or just a more efficient operator. And that is problem solving. And of course, a lot of people can problem solve, but it also depends on how you problem solve and what your stress tolerance is. For example, if something happens, if a problem arises out of nowhere and your initial reaction is to start freaking out and like, how am I gonna do this? Oh my God. You're probably going to freak out more than you need to. And you could have just spent that time solving that problem and trying to get solutions out. Whenever there's a problem that I have to deal with or a fire that has that, that comes out of nowhere, the immediate, my immediate reaction is I need to solve this. What are my options, right? So we go through the list of different options. Do we, you know, hire someone to do this? Do we, do I, can I just jump in and get this done? How do I, can I go to Upwork? What can I do to fix this problem? And, you know, it, as fast as possible, the, mo the most efficient way possible, right? You think speed is probably the most important. And then it's, of course, the dollar amount. So what do you value more in this position? How fast can you get it done? What's this going to cost me? So if you balance those two, you can pretty much get any problem done. And then, of course, how much time do I have to get this done? For example, so I have a team in the Philippines. A few weeks ago, they went through a typhoon. Their houses were really wrecked. And they went through a very difficult time with their their family, their houses, their property. It was, it was horrible. Their computer computers were, were ruined and you know I had to really be there for them and and they were going through a lot and I, I had to you know be supportive and you know just tell them I'm here for them and try to help out as much as I could financially and you know just be there and understand and through this you know I of course it's a horrible scenario happening but I need to deliver the work to the clients because as much as you know everyone has sympathy for what's, what would help go on with a natural disaster they still are relying on our work right so my initial reaction is I need to find a solution right so these editors they're amazing my team's incredible they're going through this I need to solve this problem the first thing check in how are they is their family okay what can I do to help second thing I need to solve this problem as fast as possible and this was a few weeks ago, I think when I made that video, when I had the extremely stressful week. So that week when this typhoon happened, you know, I went to Upwork, I went to just friends that I knew can edit videos. I tried to have them edit videos on an app called Splice. I hired two Upwork editors and showed them the styles, went through instructions. Basically everything that I learned, you know, when I first started the business of, you know, you need to write every single thing down for instructions. You need to tell them exactly what needs to get done. Examples, go through edits. And it was me doing this. My team was busy doing other things. They had to make up for all the other things that the editors had to do and, and film themselves and start to edit a little bit. But you know, this was a full, you know, mission of a week just to get everything done. I believe this happened, the, the typhoon happened on Tuesday. You know, we deliver on Friday. So we had all of Tuesday, all of Wednesday gone. Thursday, you know, some, some clients have to deliver. Friday, everyone gets delivered. So, you know, two days of no editing is a huge gap in the week. And so the initial reaction is I need to solve this problem and as quick as possible and I, I will pay to get this done. So go to Upwork, find great guys, go through the, the process and, you know, also found somebody here in LA to, to start editing editing and put all the resources together. Two editors of the entire team that actually weren't as affected and they were willing to work. And of course I, you know, compensated them, but it was just a group effort to, you know, how can I solve this problem? What's it going to cost me? Let's get this done. I didn't, you know, start freaking out. This is going to be impossible. I'm screwed. Oh, like this is going to be, I got to tell the clients. Absolutely not. You need to solve the problem as efficient as possible. And you know, you're in this, you, you have to deal with distress tolerance constantly, it, no matter what, right? So it could be, you know, personal relationships, business. As soon as you start freaking out, the, the, the situation owns you and you cannot even make a, a proper decision. You, you physically cannot make a correct decision. You're going to be way too emotional to then react. A friend of mine is very, he's amazing at this. He's way less emotional than I am in decision making. Sometimes I really have to think about it for, you know, an hour or so to really just calm down and, you know, have a clear visual of everything going on. My friend, he is extremely emotionally intelligent and he can just fully take his emotions out of situations and know exactly how to respond. And he knows the proper time where he can respond and handle a situation. It's very impressive. I honestly envy that. But operating like that is very incredible and it's going to make your business even more smooth. Just, just a smoother process, a smoother operation because, you know, problems happen all the time, no matter what you're going through. So the calmer you react, the more educated of a decision you can make. And once you make this decision, you have to stick by it because you cannot undo a decision. If I was to just, 
you know, hire someone or start editing myself, I would have probably wasted an entire an another day of just trying to solve that problem. But you have to go through everything in your head, right? If something happens with, you know, you have a friend, they do something you don't like, how are you gonna respond? You're gonna start screaming? Probably not, you're a mature adult, you can't do that anymore. Did someone in business say something? Did your business partner disagree with you? You have to just, react calmly. No one wants to argue. It's never a good solution and, and it's just extremely immature. So as much stress as you can keep out of a decision, the better. It's just best to stay calm be, and you'll be able to handle a much higher stress tolerance the calmer you are. So don't initially freak out and react and don't make a decision based off of anger and your current emotions because that will probably backfire. Just make an educated guess. Once you're calm, take some time and then respond. You don't have to respond immediately. You don't have to make a decision immediately. If you do have to make a decision quickly, you understand the risks and the rewards of that decision and you understand that you need to be emotionally calm. This is just one thing that I've learned and what I constantly go through, I go through it pretty often, you know, there's always fires that you gotta put out running the agency. It's very busy, very hectic. There's, you know, requests and, you know, a lot of things going on and you gotta you know, manage the team, build the team, have the process, you know, very smooth and, you know, things always happen. So it's just always how you react to it, right? I think the quote is, life's about things happening and how you react. There's like 99% of how you react to things that just happen. So I don't know, I butchered that quote, but basically you know what I'm saying. So just react calmly and make educated decisions. So yeah, just a big thing that I've learned a while ago and it will always apply. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.